Good afternoon. I would like to convey my warmest congratulations to all 110 youth delegates participating in this year's ASEAN Korea Youth Summit. Since a third of, of the region's population is below 34 years old of age, investing in the younger generation is key to developing an inclusive, sustainable, resilient and dynamic future. For the next five years, ASEAN Youth Ministers will focus on two critical areas. Firstly, empowering ASEAN youth to be future ready through digital skills. And secondly, widening your youth engagement in regional policy dialogue. As futures leaders, change makers and enablers of sustainable development, we need to equip you with the relevant knowledge and skills to be nimble and adapt in this rapidly evolving world of today. This summit reflects our collective commitment in strengthening cooperation in the youth sector and as identified in the shared priority from the ASEAN-Korea Commemorative Summit held last year in Busan. The ties that bind ASEAN and Korea are deep and enduring. Education, tourism and K-culture transcend borders and unite young people from across the region. Going forward, maintaining peace and prosperity in the ASEAN-Korea community will be anchored upon our deeper cultural bond and people-to-people -people exchanges and connectivity develop, develop between our youth of today. Dear youth delegates, the theme of this summit, togetherness of ASEAN-Korea youth for the future of ASEAN-Korea community takes on a whole new meaning in the face of COVID-19 crisis. The pandemic has significantly changed our life and impacted our communities in ways we have never seen before. This is truly a challenging time for young people everywhere, given the severe disruption to learning and working environments. In ASEAN alone, over 150 million students have been affected by school closures. Youth unemployment is also on the rise due to delay school-to-work transitions. In addition, there are other shared concerns for us to address. Digital transformation, mental health, aging societies and climate change are issues that are expected to shape our future. During this summit, I encourage you to engage openly with one another in brainstorming creative solutions to this pressing issue. I also urge you to use this space to exchange views and ideas on collaborating and contributing more meaningful to the development of the ASEAN-Korea community. Most importantly, I hope that you will build new and long-lasting friendships to support each other through this time of shared crisis. I would like to close by thanking the Ministry of Gender Equality and Family of the Republic of Korea, the National Council of Youth Organizations in Korea, and the ASEAN Universities Network for jointly, jointly organizing this meaningful event. I wish you a successful and memorable Youth Summit. Thank you.